Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja, and it is Sunday. And before I get too far into today's video, let me make sure that you can hear me and that it's actually recording. But it's Sunday, and what does that have to do with anything? Well, while it is Easter, and I uh, hope you had a wonderful Easter if you celebrated. Um, perfect. Audio is on. Um, <clears throat> that's not what I'm call what I'm on this video here today for. Um, I'm here because I made a decision that I want to empower at least 10 people to become debt free by next year. And there are many ways that you can do that. There are many ways that you can save, many ways that you can pay off debt, many ways that you can create additional income for yourself. There there's just so many different ways to be able to do that, but I decided that for sure every Sunday I was going to be sharing information on how to use forex. Forex for those of you that don't know is basically the foreign exchange. It allows you to trade currency so that you can, kind of like stocks, um, be able to make money if it goes in the direction you're expecting it. I have a five-day boot camp on this, so if you want it, please feel free to let me know. Either above or this video, there should be a comment section. Feel free to um, reach out on my page, Daily Wealth Ninja. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I gave you a little bit of a glimpse about Forex. Now, some people use MT4, some people use um, use, I think, straight up through um, TradingView. But for those who are using MT4, I wanted to share with you some things that you may not be aware of. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Uh, here we go. Perfect. So as you see here, this is um, my FX Choice Pro demo account. Um, this, this is what it normally looks like on default when you're using um, MT4 Trader. You can get MT4 Trader from different brokers. I use this one for FX Choice for the moment because again, I'm still testing out some things. I'm still figuring out which brokers are gonna be best for um, minimum commissions and minimum um, extra charges. So here I wanna share with you a couple of things. Um, so let me go ahead and, oh, thank you for the love, I appreciate that. All right, so first is changing your color settings. I wanted to talk about that. So when you right click on the screen, um, you're gonna, oops. Oh man, I don't know if it'll, oh, it doesn't, that's, that's not cool. All right, so um, I was, oh, that might be why. <laughs> ah, no, it's not. All right, so I'm trying to get it to where I could zoom in, but apparently MT4 has a hotkey for my alt button, so I'll have to forget later. So sorry if you can't see it. Ugh, I'm going to try and walk you through it anyway. So on your, on your chart, you right-click on it, and you'll go to Properties or press F8. From here, you can change the color scheme, right? I prefer it black on white. I'm sorry, not black on white. Uh, I choose default green on black because I like the way that the black looks to me, but I don't like the way that the green candles look. So green on black, when you actually choose this one, you're gonna see that it has um, for the buy candles, empty candlesticks. Actually, I can do this this way. So you see that the empty candles are buy candles. So they they open here, they close here, high, and then low, right? Um, and, and the sell candles have a white body and green outline. I don't personally like that. So um, I would actually change it to properties and then come here and choose what I want. So grid, I would probably choose pretty close to black because I don't really want to see the grid lines. I don't really care. If you do want them to show up, what you can do um, is you can change a color that's just kind of off just slightly so that it's not quite, um, let's see, so like that. So if you make it a darker gray, and then you can only slightly see it. Oh, maybe it's so slight even I can't see it. <laughs> but you, you get the idea, so you can play around with it. Um, from there, I personally like my bar up to be green or lime, my bars down to be red. And the reason I do that is because it is a huge visual aspect for you to be able to see red versus green, right? And you can go through here and make those changes and 
um, get it the way that you want it to look like. I'm just going to leave it as is for now uh, because I do want to keep this short. So you make those changes. You, you uh, can change the way that it looks, the colors, um, the different line graphs. You can change even these common stuff. Like if you want a bar chart instead of candlesticks, I prefer candlesticks. And if you want to know the difference between bar chart, candlesticks, and line chart, I have given a training on this already. If you're watching this on YouTube, there should be a card that pops up at some point. Or you can send me a message. I'll leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get that to you. I also prefer to like uh, to see the OHLC, which is your open, high, low, and close. And again, you can just show whatever you want to show up on there. So once you're done with the color settings of your charts, let's talk about how to add an indicator. So over here on the left side, there are tons of indicators over here. If you wanted to see trend, you could add Bollinger Bands, and you can just click and drag. So you see where that little box is that showed up? You might not because it's small, but when you click and drag it, it gives you the options to change the settings. I'm going to leave it just as default as it is for right now. And when you click OK, it shows up on your chart. You can add so many different things to your charts. Um, <clears throat> in fact, one of the ones that I have, uh, actually I'll show that to you in a minute. So you can just add, that's how you add an indicator. Same deal for if you were trying to add an, an expert advisor. Now, expert advisors are basically robots, okay? Um, there is a, MQ, I think it's called MQL4, uh, is the trading, is the language to write your own robot in. I'm actually learning that, so um, be sure to keep an eye out for that if you are interested in learning. Um, <clears throat> but basically uh, your expert advisor is a robot and so based off of some logic um, if it's running and you have all the right things set up properly it can place trades for you it can send you alerts if you don't want it to tra place trades for you it can do so much so same with expert advisors if you wanted to add one you can just click and drag or or double oh maybe not <laughs> normally it does maybe there's something that's blocking it right now for that Heikinashi one. But it, it's just um, it's just the same deal. This should have been, there we go. So normally it brings that, that up and you can change the, the common inform, information, the inputs, what it does. Again, it just depends on your expert advisor. Now, if you wanna remove your expert advisor, you just right click on your chart, go to, go to um, oh, it has to be on there. So I'll just grab this back D again. Let's click okay. Right click and go to expert advisors and then remove. It can only have, it seems to only be able to have one expert advisor at a time. So you've, you set up your chart, you have it exactly the way you want. Now, how, yeah, how do you save a template? So you'll right click on your chart, hover over where it says template. As you can see, I have a lot of different ones. So I'm gonna show you um, what I've done. So I click on save template and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it test for now click OK, and then that's it. So if you want to save them later, like if you want to transfer your save templates to another MT4, you'll go to File, Open Data Folder, and this is the location where all of your settings are gonna be stored. So if you actually go into MQL4 and go to, uh, no, sorry, Templates. These are all your templates. So you can go in there and copy those and then take all that and put it into your new MT4 and it will show up just like you want. So as you can see, I have test in here as my template. So what happens if you open up a new one? So let's just open the same chart window for the same, uh, oops. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, Okay, so basically, um, if you want to change your default, it's super easy. So right click on here, go to template. Um, what you can do is you can, what I would do is first of all, you don't wanna get rid of your default. So when I go to open data folder and go to templates, I'll take that default file and actually call it something else. So I'm gonna call it keep because I actually do wanna keep that as the default. And then now I can save the current one. Where is it? Oh, save template. <laughs> As the default. So anything that's named default in your templates, that's what's going to show up when you open up a new chart. So if I open up a new chart, such as gold, 
it looks exactly like the same chart I have over here on GPAUD because, again, I set up a template and I saved it as the default. So every time I open up a new chart, this view will, ha will show up for each new chart. Okay, so I've shown you how to change your color settings, how to add an indicator, how to add an experts advisor, um, how to save your template, how to save your template as default. Now, how do you load your template? So let's say that I wanted to change this from the default to um, some other template. I have one um, that I really like called my bounce back. It's something that I learned from the um, system that I use to not only learn about Forex trading, but also be around a bunch of community of Forex traders, over 60 hours of live trading uh, mentorship, and some really cool tools to help me pinpoint trades. If you want more information, please do feel free to reach out and I'll let you know um, how to get access. But I used that training and created my own template. So that is how you add it or how you uh, display it. So again, right click, template, and then you just choose the one that you want to show back up. So with that being said, that is all I wanted to share for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja. If you would like to learn more about this, please be sure to click on the live button if you're watching this on Facebook. If you're watching it on YouTube, there should be a subscribe button somewhere here on the on there and click the bell to be notified. And again, if you want to be following um, my journey, because I do share the trades that I've taken um, and the success or failures on my webpage, facebook.com forward slash Daily Wealth Ninja. So again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.